Hello. I have a copy of the uh, Alexandria um, Ocasio Cortez uh, Freedom Force Who uh, New Party Who Dis comic from um, Devil's Due, which came out last week, um, and is a uh, yeah. It's quite. It's, it's a quite fun, silly, parody-ish um, comedy anthology of strips with uh, ACO and Donald Trump and. All sorts of people from a load of different comic book creators. Some you'll know, some you won't, and it's just a it's a it's a fun little thing. It's quite entertaining. I enjoyed it. Um, now, a number of retailers, comic book store owners, um, they got exclusive uh, variant covers. Now you can do this with a lot of different publishers, including Devil's Due and others. Um, stores can say, "I will order so many hundreds or so many thousands of copies of your comic book if you give me." A uh, special cover done by a special person that only I get to have. And some retailers will use that to sell as collectors, to, as collectible things. Some will use it as promotional items for their store. It's become quite a popular thing. Um, I think Dreamway waved it back in the day and then it got repopularised by IDW and now Marvel like weaponised it, DC do it, and everyone does it, it seems. Um, Difference is, um, this one has us, the, the Marvel ones, DC ones, you would normally have to order three and a half thousand minimum with this I think it was 250 minimum um, some ordered more but um, there you go so we have um, the New York Collector Cave now they ordered one and all, all the covers were done by uh, women so it's one of those kind of ideas as well and there, there's by um, is it Car uh, Carla was of um, ACO as Wonder Woman that was quite fun yeah you want a nice little thing to do um, and two hundred. they ordered 250 copies and then they went out there, I did an article on it on Bleeding Cool, and basically pretty much as soon as they saw it on Bleeding Cool, Warner Brothers people did, we, we can tell by little IP uh, addresses that come through the system, um, that's when Birth Devil's Due and the New York Collector Cave, the comic book in, uh, story in question, got a cease and desist letter from DC and Warner saying, no, you must cease and desist in selling this comic book or trading it or whatever, or it must be destroyed or returned or what have you. Um, because by then, Devil's Due had already sold the 250 copies to New York Collector's Cave, who had also already sold loads of them as well. So, I don't know. And, you know, there weren't that many in the first place. Um, as a result, now, because of all the attention that's been brought to it, firstly, number one, um, that comic book is now <laughs> selling it with huge amounts on eBay. I did an article on Bleeding Call cool earlier today. It was selling for $255 with um, three bids and six days to go. Um, I'm just going to check where it is now because that was then. This is now. Let's see. I was. I actually suggested when all this news came out it might hit $100 by the weekend. I was clearly underestimating it. Okay, currently with 10 bids it's at $310 with, um, yeah, still six days to go. So, could hit four figures, who knows? And there aren't that many copies around, you know, there's only 250. Some of them might have been destroyed or no longer sold. Some of them will have been ordered and kept, but there's not that many out there. So, this could be a bit silly, do you think? Anyway, um, I'm going to have a quick check, see if there's any more um, online right now, because if so, uh, I wonder what prices they're going to be getting. Um, someone has got a, uh, they're doing a, a buy it now. Let me see what the price they're asking for that. Because a buy it now is generally kind of set to the, the level. Okay, right, okay, there's a $400 buy it now. So if you don't want to go for the other one, you can just spend $400 now and get it. It's available. It hasn't sold for that yet. But there's one that's coming up at $310, like we said. So, yeah, might not be that far off. Um, let's have a look at actual s in more sales. Because yeah, no copies have actually... Okay, there was one that sold a few days ago for $40. And whoever sold it for then, they put it up as a buy it now. I bet they're feeling... Ah, I should have put it on auction. So, there's that. Now, what? let's take a check without the Wonder Woman, because that's the thing, because the actual comic book itself is doing quite well. Okay, there's the, um, they had another rare variant version called the Washington Warrior variant from Devil's Due. That's something for $100. And that hasn't been, um, as I sold copies, and that hasn't been in any way uh, cease and desisted or anything like that. Um, the, yeah, they, they tend to be, seem to be selling for about... This this seems to be it's a like a five dollar comic. It's ten selling for was it five dollar? Yeah, sorry, six dollar comic. But it's selling for about ten dollars on eBay. So a slight uptick. 
And that's basically a thing down to all the fuss from Fox News who kind of jumped on this. Well, rather they jumped on another website who'd have been reporting what we had. They just kind of like, so we, we, everything's being returned and returned. And, uh, you can return me, but just, you know, credit me, it's fine. Um, anyway, so this is now a thing. Uh, it's just a weekend. A lot of the comic book retailers are away at the Diamonds uh, Retail Summit in Las Vegas, getting out of all sorts of nonsense, I'm sure. Um, and when they get back, we'll see where else this goes. Because that's the other thing. There weren't that many copies of this comic book ordered from Diamond, I'm hearing. And not really. Uh, not considering the clear demand there might be now. So, yeah, you might see all sorts of silly prices for the different versions of this comic book. So, uh, if you have a copy, maybe wait for the weekend. Put it on eBay with a, you know, not as a buy it now, auctions, and you know. See what you get, let me know. That's capitalism, which is, you know, I mean, it's like, okay, I, I do see the irony. I do slightly see the irony there, given some of the reported politics. But to be fair, I mean, this is one of these things, you know, um, when certain people, especially in America, are uh, considered to be really left wing. And I can look at their policies and think, that sounds quite conservative to me, surely. Um, Alexandra might not seem that conservative, but, you know, she's not, she's not like, you know, she's not Jeremy Corbyn. Who's the leader of the Labour Party in Britain still? Um, she's more of a Liberal Democrat. Kind of here, over here. So anyway, that's kind of that's kind of the way it looks. Um, all sorts of entertaining po uh, politics right now, both in America and in the UK. So, yeah, we have the European uh, elections this week for to elect uh, European uh, MPs to the European. Um, yeah, to the EU, which we're meant to be leaving. So anyone who gets elected, and this election is costing about £100 million pounds just to go to, to do it. Anyone who gets elected, they might have two or three months in the job. Anyway, so if you've got a copy of this, if you like it, great. If you want to sell it, maybe. Um, if you've got a copy of the New York Collector's Cave version, definitely sell it. And uh, maybe you can fly to New York with the, with the proceeds. Or maybe you want to be a bit greener. You could sail to New York. I don't know. Something like that. Swim. And then spend all the money on bagels. I've clearly lost the plot. Anyway.